Hey guys, here's how to replace the uh, male end of a three prong connector like this one. Now this can be from an extension cord or an appliance. This happens to be from my drill press. But as you can see, the ground prong right here is missing. It broke off in the outlet. So when I unplugged it the other day, this guy was just sticking out of the wall, which was not good. So I jumped on Amazon and I found a three pack of replacements for about 10 bucks. And I can put a link in the description below. But here it is, and this video will walk you through how to replace it. Now the first step is to cut off the old bad connector. And you want to chop it as close as you can to the plug, just to save as much cord as you can. So, there we go. And the next step is going to be to use a utility knife to cut away some of this sheathing to expose the three wires inside. You've got your green for ground, your white for neutral, and your black for hot. Okay, so I've got my X-Acto knife, which is kind of gnarly looking, <laughs> but uh, leave about, uh, cut about an inch and a quarter off, and just kind of roll the sheathing onto the blade to make a nice cut all the way around if you can. And if you're lucky, it will just pull right off like that. So the sheathing is off. I can kind of separate the three wires. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is get your wire strippers out. And these are kind of fancy, but um, just the generic player type will work. Go ahead and strip the ends of all three wires like so, so that you expose the wiring inside. Just like that. And if you look and at the wires themselves, if you have stranded wire like I do, it's kind of helpful to go ahead and twist it so that the individual wires are less apt to kind of fray apart when you go to screw these into the terminals. Okay, so the next step is to prepare the new plug. And the first thing you wanna do is get a Phillips head screwdriver like this one and loosen the two screws that hold the cord clamp together. You can see this opening is too small for the cord to fit through now, so you have to loosen the screws to open that up. Then once you've done that, flip it over, and you can remove the three screws on the front face to disassemble the housing. So I've already done that with one of the other connectors. I've opened up this cord clamp enough to string the cord through, and I've done that already, so let's set that kind of aside. And the front plate, you can see now that it's disassembled, there are three little connectors exposed on the inside. So you've got, um, each connector has a screw that you can back off, and what it does is it tightens down on this little movable piece of sheet metal that will crush the um, exposed conductor against the little um, tang that sticks out the front. So what you wanna do is back off all of these, all three of these screws, and then stick the exposed wire in between the, the clamp area and go ahead and tighten down the screws. Now I've done this with the neutral and the ground wires because it's a little hard to do on camera, but you can see I've got these uh, already clamped in place here. Now there is a convention you have to follow. Green, you stick your green wire in there, which is your ground connection. And the silver screw, you put the neutral or white wire in there and then the brass screw goes with the hot and black wire. So I'm gonna hook up the, the last one here off screen and then we'll finish up after that. Okay, now I've got all three wires clamped securely. Now before you do the final assembly, make sure you've got the, well double check that you've got the, connect, the correct wires going to the correct connectors so you don't uh, have a wiring problem. And make sure the clamps are, t all three of them are tight and that you're not clamping on the sheathing around the wires either because that will not make for a good connection and it may uh, cause problems with coming loose later as well. But once you're sure that that's all correct, you can go ahead and reassemble the housing. Now it only goes together one way. There's a little protrusion here, this little uh, rectangular tab on the front plate that needs to fit into the housing right here into this groove. So it, it, it has to be clocked a certain way. So if I assemble that, it should go together. There's the tab. 
should go together like this. And then before tightening the cord clamp, you want to tighten down all the screws on the front face. Okay, all those guys are tight. And make sure that before you tighten the cord clamp that you don't have the sheathing cut away beyond the end of the clamp because that's not going to be good. You want to make sure your sheathing is fully being clamped by the clamp so you're not putting strain on the wires inside. Once you've checked that, go ahead and tighten down the clamp. All right, you don't want to over tighten it to the point where you strip out the screws, but I can feel it's all secure now and it's ready for testing. Now, before you test, if you can, if this is an extension cord, you can use your continuity tester to make sure that the, the different prongs connect straight through to the female end, but uh, this is not a, um, well, this is not an extension cord, so I'm gonna skip that step for this, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so here's the drill press, all plugged in with the new connector on the end, and let's see how it goes. All right, light's working. And let's turn up the speed. There we go. All set. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Make sure you double check your work. Be safe.